welcome back to my channel, Crafting Corner, and today we're going to be making a school supplies toaster for bread with the bread notebook and a pencil box. So let's get started. First, you want to take a piece of cardboard like this, and you want to take a piece of paper in which you can fold in. So guys, now what you want to do is put glue on one side. So guys. You just want to put glue on only one side and just stick it on. So guys, I spread the glue. Now on your sheet of paper, you just want to press it down like this. And then you want to take a pair of scissors. And on the corners, you just want to go like this. And you want to do that to all four sides. So guys, now you want to take these flaps and fold them in like this. And then you want to take your glue and just glue all of the flaps. So guys, here's how my piece looks, and this is the back side. So now you just want to make another one like this. And they both should have those flaps. Now on one of them, you want to take a marker and draw some eyes. Yes, I'm just drawing cutie eyes. You can draw anything you like. And then you just want to color in the eyes. So now I'm just going to draw the white parts with a whiteout pen. So guys, now I'm going to draw the mouth. Aw, that looks so cute. So you should have one without a face and one with a face. Next. You want to take a piece like this for the bottom. Um, mine is about one and a half inch like this, and then six and a half inch here, like the same length, so it could go like this. You don't need to put some color on it. Then you wanna get some bigger pieces, bigger pieces than this. So you can put in the bread slices. So for example, it's in the inside like this, and you put the bread slices on these sides. So guys, now you want to um, put these away, and you want to take this bottom piece. Then you want to take these bigger pieces, this, and put hot glue on one side. And then you just want to stick it on. And do the same to the other piece. And just stick it. And then you can just wait for it to dry. So guys, it should look like this with like a hole. So guys, now put that away. And then you want to take another piece of paper. So guys, now you want to take a piece of cardboard like this, a small piece. This is for the sides, like this. Make it as tall as this for like good results. Now you just wanna take that small piece of cardboard and you wanna put glue on it. Then just stick your piece of cardboard onto the paper. Then take your scissors and just, you know, go like this and cut it again to all the sides and then Fold it and glue it. So 
So guys, here's how your piece should look, and this is the back side. And now you want to make one more like this. And remember, they should be the same size. So guys, after that, you want to take this piece again. You want to take one of these pieces. And now, you want to turn this over like this. And you want to put some hot glue here on this and then just want to stick it on this cardboard piece now do that to the other side too with the other one so guys like this i also did the other side now remember these side pieces you want to flip it to the side and over here you just want to stick it on this and do that to the other side also so guys now after you've done both of the sides i took a long piece of paper so i could hot glue like this with two holes in it for the bread so here's how it looks guys just if you want reference so now you want to bring it back your toaster and here you want to put the paper First, you want to glue the paper here, and then you want to glue it all the way here across. So guys, here's how my toaster looks after I applied it. So guys, now you want to take a piece of paper, and on that you want to put this like this, and so now, after you've put your thing on in here, you want to trace it using a pencil. Yeah. Okay. After you've traced it using a pencil, then I'm going to take one inch from here, and I'm just going to mark it on each side, like this. So after you've marked one inch on each side, you just want to start drawing lines. So guys, you just I since I marked one inch for mine, I'm just gonna draw lines like this for one inch on each side. like this and then over here you see this smaller box and then you just want to draw lines from the corners like this So let's just make this one a bit more straighter. So guys, now you should have something like this, a box with small squares in the corners and a box in the middle. Now you want to take your scissors and cut that out. Just cut out the big um, rectangle, that's it. So guys, now see these small squares? You just want to cut one side of each small square for to make a box. So this should be able to flap up. Now on the lines, you just want to fold all your pieces. And yeah. So guys, after you've folded all the pieces, you want to take these flaps here and you just want to glue them all to make a box. This. So 
guys, after you've finished, you should have a box like this. Now you want to take another piece of paper and you just want to mark how big the box is. Like this. And then you want to take your ruler and just keep going straight from this point. Like this. And now you just want to cut it out. So after you've cut it out, you want to take this as a measurement guide. And see how I'm putting this here? I'm just going to draw a line here. Then I'm going to draw a line for here. And then I'm gonna do this side. Okay, oh, let's keep on moving. Okay, I got one for this side. And now I'm gonna do one for the front. And and then you just want to have a little bit extra so you can glue. So basically what yours should look like is, I'm gonna show you with my ruler. It should look something like this. So guys, if yours looks something like this, you are ready to cut it. And now, you want to cut away your extra piece. And this would be my extra piece. So guys, here on the lines, you want to fold it. You should fold it carefully. Like that, and now you should just glue it like this. So guys, now after we have our tube, make sure your, you know, box can fit inside. And this will be our pencil box. Now guys, we need something to pull. And to do that, you wanna take a piece of paper like this and cut out a strip. And you just want to start to roll it. So guys, now, um, when you finished your roll, you just want to close it off with glue, like this, and just wait for that to dry. So guys, after you finished your roll, you want to um, put hot glue on one side and just stick it on your box so you can pull it in and out. So guys, now it should be like this. So yeah. So guys, so now you wanna take your toaster and you just wanna put regular glue on it. After you've put normal glue, you want to do a couple of dabs of hot glue. And then you just want to stick it on top of our pencil box. So guys, now it should look like this. Really cool, right? So now we're going to make the bread. To make the bread, you want to take two pieces of yellow paper in this shape and like, you want to outline it with an orange marker. I already did one as you can see. So guys, now you want to outline the bread with an orange marker and yeah. So guys, now I have my two bread. And then you want to take some pieces of white paper. I already cut some. And you just want to keep them like this and you want to staple them. So, oh, I'm just gonna do one staple here. So guys, now you have this notebook and you want to put some, um, so you want to take a small piece of yellow paper like this. Just want to glue it on one side. Just stick it like this, and then you just want to fold it in. Okay, so guys, 
After you fold it, you want to put some glue on the flap and just stick your other yellow bread piece on top. Here's my yellow bread piece. And then you just want to open it. So guys, now you should be able to open and close your bread. Now remember this um, notebook we made? You want to um, put some glue on both the sides. I'm also gonna put some here. So now I'm just gonna stick my notebook right here and then just stick that. So here's my bread. And I also made another one for the toaster. So now it's called the toaster, ding, ding, ding. It's right here. And now you should be able to put your bread through the slots of the toaster. This, how cute does this look? So, now let me show you how it works. First, you can open the pencil box and put in some markers or pencil, whatever you choose. And then you can take out a bread. You can choose any bread you like, of course. And I'm just gonna flip to a different page. You can just go in here, get a marker, and write. Like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!